for this video, we're gonna be discussing the continuity of a function. A function is said to be continuous at x is equal to a if there is no interruption in the graph of the function f of x at a. Also, its graph is unbroken at a. And there should be no hole, jump, or gap in our graph. So, tingnan natin yung mga halimbawa ng graphs dito. Yung una is called the removable discontinuity. And as you can see, there is a hole in this graph. So, this is not continuous. The second graph is called the jump discontinuity. So, there is a gap here. And the third one, this is an example of infinite discontinuity. So, these three graphs are examples of discontinuity. If an interval is given, we should sketch the graph without lifting the ball pen from the paper. And in that case, we identify that the function is continuous on that interval. Let's discuss the three conditions of continuity. A function is said to be continuous at a point x is equal to a if the following conditions are satisfied. The first one, the function f of x is defined. The second one, the limit of the function f of x as x approaches a exists. And the third condition is the limit of the function f of x as x approaches a is equal to f of a. Let's have our example number 1. Determine if the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 3 is continuous at x is equal to 1. Let us see if this example will satisfy the three conditions. For the first one, f of 1. So we're going to substitute the values of x, which is 1. So we have 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 3. And if we're going to simplify this, the answer is 2. So our function is defined. Its value is 2 if x is equal to 1. So let us see if it will satisfy our condition number 2. So the limit should exist. So by writing in the limit form, we have the limit of the function x squared minus 2x plus 3 as x approaches 1. Then let's evaluate the limit. By substitution, we are going to have 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 3. And by simplifying this, we have 2 also. And from here, our limit exists at 2. For our third condition, we can say that the limit of the function f of x as x approaches 1 is equal to the value of the function when the value of x is substituted. Therefore, the function f of x is continuous at x is equal to 1. Let's take a look at the graph of our function. So here is the graph. As you can see, there is no hole, there is no jump, and there is no gap in our graph. Now let's discuss our example number 2. Determine if the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2 all over x minus 2 is continuous at x is equal to 2. Let's see if it will satisfy our first condition. So by substitution, we're going to have f of 2. So this is 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 2 all over 2 minus 2. If we are going to simplify this, we are going to have 0 over 0. And this is indeterminate or undefined. So our given does not satisfy the first condition. So let's see the second condition by identifying the limit. The limit of x squared minus 3x plus 2 all over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. So kung sa direct substitution, magiging 0 ang ating denominator, we are going to think for another way on how to find the limit. And that is by factoring our numerator. So the factors of our numerator are x minus 2 and x minus 1. And here we can cancel x minus 2 in the numerator and x minus 2 in the denominator. Then the remaining part is x minus 1. Then by evaluating the limit, we are going to have 2 minus 1 and this is equal to 1. So even though that the function does not exist or undefined, still its limit exists.
And for the third condition, the limit of the function as x approaches 2 is not equal to the value of the function if the value of x is substituted. And here, we can say that the function is discontinuous at x is equal to 2. And if we're going to look at the graph of this function, here it is. There is a hole in the graph because the function is undefined if x is equal to 2 but still the limit exists at 1. Now let's talk about the continuity of a function on an interval. A function is said to be continuous from the left at x is equal to a if the limit of the function f of x as x approaches a from the left. And the function is said to be continuous from the right at x is equal to a if the limit of the function f of x as x approaches from the right. Consider the graph of the function f of x is equal to square root of x. Using the graph, determine if the function f of x is continuous or discontinuous on the following intervals. Number 1, 0 to positive infinity. So you can try this at home. So using this interval, we can sketch the graph from the right side of 0. So from here, because 0 is not included in our interval. And in sketching the graph from the right of 0 up to the positive infinity, we are not going to lift the pen. And from here, we can say that the function is continuous on this interval. Let's answer number 2. So this is between 0 and 4. We can sketch the graph from the right side of 0 and from the left side of 4 without lifting the pen. So this is continuous. And for our third interval, this is from negative infinity to 0. And using this interval, there is no graph to sketch from the left of our 0. Therefore, the function is discontinuous at this interval. Let's have our example number 2. Using the graph, determine if the function f of x is continuous or discontinuous on the following intervals. So here is our graph. This graph is a screenshot from Paul's online notes. I will put the link in the description box kung saan ko siya nakuha. Let's answer number 1. So the first interval is between negative 1 and 2. So it sketch the graph from the right side of negative 1 up to the left side of positive 2. And we didn't lift the pen. So our function is continuous at this interval. Let's answer number 2. So our interval now is from 0 to 3. So including 0 and 3. So we'll start tayo dito sa 0 natin and here is the, the graph. So from 0, we are not going to lift our pen until we reach x is equal to 3, which is a whole. Therefore, the function is discontinuous at this interval. For our third example, this is between negative 4 and negative 1. So not including negative 4 and negative 1. From the right side of negative 4, here is our graph going to the left side of negative 1. So before we reach negative 1, as you can see, there is a gap. And this is an example of jump discontinuity. Therefore, the function is discontinuous. For our next interval, we have between negative 2 and positive 3. So not including negative 2 and not including positive 3. So we're going to start from the right of x is equal to negative 2. Not including negative 2. So even though that we have a hole here, this is not included. So we start from this part. Going to positive 3, but we're not going to reach it. Because our interval is just between negative 2 and positive 3. And by sketching the graph, we didn't lift our pen. Therefore, our function is continuous at this interval. And this is the end of this video. If you find this video informative, please don't forget to like, share, and 
subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless us all.